right now we're on the back end of the crane that's here at Vesta. And we're actually on a ride right now. Josh is uh, swinging a concrete bucket over to one of the shear walls right by the temple. And we're actually pouring the concrete while we're standing up on the back end of this crane. If we look this way, we're looking at the Vulcan and we're right at the base of the Vulcan. So not many people, I guess, in their lives, much less the city of Birmingham, get to see uh, this kind of view from up here. So I guess the, since we last were here, uh, Cody left us. He left yesterday, he didn't give us any kind of hug, didn't say goodbye. So last Wednesday, uh, Russo drilled the last case on. By Cody leaving, what we've done is we've immediately created all this space that people have to go to work. And so now we've got more work we can do, we've got more activities that we can plan and getting the right materials and the right plan in place is what we're trying to do now. We're roughly at the eighth level of the tower, but we're standing in the tower crane. Um, so we're getting ready to pour the second pour of the seventh floor. We're gonna make that pour this Thursday. Um, Seco's been doing a really good job for us production-wise. We've basically hit every elevated slab pour date that we've had scheduled, uh, but for a day or two here or there. So we're maintaining our schedule on the flow of, of the concrete work. This slab will be ready for inspection by the city of Birmingham sometime tomorrow. And the LBYD, the structural engineer, they'll come in and look at it. And then we'll pour this thing at, uh, pump will show up 2.30 Thursday morning and we'll pour concrete starting three o'clock. So Patronus' crew is a lively bunch. Uh, they've got a leader named, his name is Tequila, that's his nickname. Uh, but they've got a group of core guys, about six to seven guys that uh, they don't ever complain. They're always here. If we're behind getting the deck ready for them, they always have bailed us out. We've never had to stop a pour or reschedule a pour because Patronus wasn't ready. One of their guys, Shorty, uh, he's been a good asset to the job. He keeps everybody on their toes. You know, people look at him, uh, they might not agree with everything that comes out of his mouth, but he's got an energy about him that is infectious. And uh, I know me personally, when I stalk the Shorty, he lifts me up and uh, he makes me realize is that this is important and he wants to be here, he wants to be part of the team, and you can tell that by what he does. I'm Evan Boyd, basically Shorty. This is what we basically got going on right here, man, is uh, this is reinforcement. Whenever you're dealing with um, concrete or structurals like this, and what these and what these PT cables are here for, um, see how they're already stretched out down the line? See, now they got these little waves in it right now. But the way the concrete is sitting, like at a certain elevation, the PT cables, they're gonna meet the rebar at that certain level. And once they get pulled, they basically go from sagging to like a whole straight line and it's pulled apart. And it just makes the concrete just stretch apart and everything that didn't fall in place falls in place. And then it just tightens itself up, all right? This is the way I normally like to tie. Of course, you know, you're real rock buster, you know how to make a hook, because it makes it easy. So you're gonna go underneath the bar. You're gonna go under the bottom bar and over the top bar. Not a figure eight, but it's pretty like a, it's a basically a saddle. Have you seen a saddle on a horse? That's basically what it is. Now, you got something that won't move. Two sexy guys on camera, you see this? Uh-huh. This is, uh, this is tequila. This is my boss, tequila. You're on TV, basically. Funny you, funny you ask if he's straight out of school. He does like a little baby. Look, your little whiskers start coming in now. Look at that. <laughs> Look, that's the kind of fun that we have out here, man. We're always cracking jokes, you know what I'm saying? We get out here, we bust our behind, you know, but we still we still out here doing our work. And man, I, I tell you, it's, it's been an adventure, but you know what? Like I said, I, I wouldn't take it back, you know, because this right here is just something can't nobody take away from me, man. It's, it's hard work, but you know, if you built for it, you can do it. I'm built for it because I'm out here.